Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to be installing an Apple CarPlay Android Auto Hub <coughs> into my Miata. So, all that involves is replacing this hub and replacing the USB cables that go into the CMU, but you have to take a bunch of plastic pieces off to get to it. So, I'm just gonna kind of just make a video of me walking through that. So, uh, not sure if this shows up in the frame, but I'm just taking out the little door sill piece. I guess you gotta start there according to the instructions. So, you just kind of pry on it a little, be very gentle, and it comes right out. I'm gonna set it aside. So what I've done here is I've taken off the door sill and there's a little kicker panel. Uh, this little guy right here, that it went right here. I just kind of took him out. Just again, some prying. And then there's a 10 millimeter right here that I'm going to take out. Uh, I'm beginning, that was really loose. I'm beginning to think that my car had Apple CarPlay installed previously by the previous owner only because it was already on the latest firmware and it usually isn't so it almost seems like this guy did it and then took the parts out before he traded the car in I guess we'll find out <sighs> don't lose this bolt I'm gonna put it right there so now this whole panel should just kind of come out, I believe. Oh, there it is. Just kind of coax it out. So, I took this piece off, just kind of had to, oops, it goes this way, just kind of had to pull on it a little bit, pry it up a little bit from each side and just pull it out. Once you've done that, the little hub here is held on by two screws, just two Phillips screws, you just take that out. Two. 
looks like the shifter console is going to have to come out too. There we go. Ah. So I guess there is a few tabs and you just kind of, I use this tool, just kind of work my way around the shifter console and pry them out. Once all that's out, Two. So now you have your center console. I believe there's just the tab. Yeah, there's just some plastic tabs on the back. One, two, three, four. Just push them down and it should slide out the back. right out. So now I'm going to get my new uh, aux unit bag over here. So when I was doing the firmware update, I discovered that uh, I actually already had the latest firmware, which led me to believe that maybe someone had CarPlay on this before. But as you can see, here's the difference between the two hub units. There's a phone icon on this hub unit and then the back has extra USB cables and obviously the part numbers are different so that's how I know if he if, if this car did have CarPlay the hub was swapped after he traded it in so so I'm just gonna slide this baby back in here and don't forget to take your SD card out of this one if you have navigation so. Gonna leave it for now because the more important part now is these cables.
So right now I'm just uh, preparing the USB cables and the Android Auto Kit to give you some zip ties and uh, some protective foam. So I'm just kind of wrapping the USB cables in foam and zip tying them together. And then after that I'm going to feed the brown and the black end through the top into the bottom because the, the, the brown and the black end go into the, uh, the hub down there. And then the other end, which is gray and blue, goes into the uh, infotainment unit, or nav unit, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So now we will just connect everything back to the CMU. Um, the only thing is, according to this picture, which I'll, I'll blow it up and throw it in the video, I guess the cables, gray, or there's blue and green, they go in a specific order in the CMU. So, looking at the CMU from the back, it says the green goes on the left and the blue goes on the right, so that's what I'm going to do. Green goes on the left and the blue goes on the right. Okay. The old cables, don't gotta pull them out, just leave them there in case you ever want to revert back. And I guess also it's kind of a pain to pull the fish them out, because um, they're zip tied and clipped and all that inside the console. So just kind of put them out of the way and put this guy in there also. So I'm gonna pull, I guess. Before you do that, pull your uh, cables out. So before you do that, pull your cables out. Get everything reconnected. Did I miss anything? I did not miss anything. Once you've verified that Android Auto works or CarPlay, whatever phone you have, just install is obviously, or I mean, uh, reinstallation is obviously the opposite of uh, removal, right? Just snap your plastic pieces back in place. Be careful you don't break anything and 
just, I mean, make sure everything's snapped into place, otherwise you might get some plastic rattling or something like that. Uh, and I know it seems kind of daunting, but it really is not bad at all. So, I hope that this video has helped you better understand how to put CarPlay into your vehicle. Um, like I said, this doesn't just apply to Miatas, it applies to the other Mazda vehicles, uh, the Mazda 3, CX-5, CX-3, etc. I, I come from working on two older cars where I would just break the plastic and I wouldn't care because I could just replace it with a junkyard piece. Um, this car I was a little more careful with, obviously, because it's brand new. Even with that in mind, it wasn't that hard. Uh, you just have to be a little gentle. I recommend buying like a pair of interior trim removal tools, I believe they're called. I can link them in the description below. They're like 10 bucks on Amazon. They helped a big bunch, way better than using screwdrivers and scratching up your plastics. So that's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.